What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, today, we're rocking the Power Stroke. We got a 97 F350 with a couple of modifications. She's rocking 550,000 miles, but tonight I wanted to share something with you. The type of fuel we're using, and this is not gasoline. You guys gotta check this out. All right guys, Let's do it. Alright guys, thanks so much for coming back. Fuel. This is not diesel fuel. And it's not gasoline. This is a lean meaning diesel burning machine. And I'm gonna go over tonight, you guys, and I'm gonna show you what my man's running as fuel. And I'm sure you guys are probably guessing it. That is right. Where is his dipstick? It's used ATF. He's been running it for quite some time. We're gonna be installing and filling the front tank, which is empty. The rear tank, it has about three quarters. We're not gonna to be touching that. But he has double filtered all the trans fluid through a lower 6.7 lift pump. And this is his process that he has been using and has been totally successful in running used automatic transmission fluid. He's not running fry oil, just transmission fluid. And I know a lot of people may think that uh, the truck's gonna smoke like a freight train, it's gonna be real unpleasant to drive, but we're gonna actually go for a ride. We're gonna check fuel pressure, compare it to the diesel, and um, there's gonna be no smoke and mirrors. You're gonna see exactly what we're gonna add, all this trans fluid into the front tank. We're gonna take some fuel readings off of the Schrader valve, and we're gonna show you, we're switching to the front tank, and I guess without further ado, let's dump this juice. Yeah, there may be some conf Fusion with the placards. Don't uh, disregard rabbit. Ramathorn. Here she goes, guys. Straight race fuel. Go go juice. I should have had this ready. Ready to go. Three, two, one. Oh, right <laughs> out the vent. Too much. There she goes. Eat it up, girl. This is pretty cool. I've never ran trans fluid through a power stroke. The new ones, yeah, you're not doing this. Old ones, by all means, these 7.3 injectors will definitely love to eat this. So we'll finish filling this one. And we're going to finish these, these guys here. And, uh... Yeah, enjoy the music.
I totally forgot to show the fuel tank. So right now, that's the rear tank. And let's switch to the front, see how much we got in there. Yeah, it was empty. Yep, she's about full too. We put three full gas, bleh, three full gas cans in here. And she's almost reading full. This is just a, uh, didn't you say it was just a 19 gallon tank? About 19 gallon tank. She's uh, on F. So yeah, my bad. You guys know I'm not BSing you guys. So we just clearly put three three tanks in. This is the third one. Here's the second one, and then this is the first one you guys saw us do. So definitely all that is in here. And this one is hissing away, almost done, but it might blurp out. We'll be watching. I think we're about full, you guys. Check that out. Wow. To the tippy, tippy top. 100% full with but, that. But is it? The other camera was overheating, but we are totally full, 100%. Three full containers of trans fluid. And that would have put us pretty much, I guess, four gallons of diesel in here, but we, I don't know. That white one's more than five, isn't it, or no? Uh, it was filled more than five. It was filled more than five. So we got more, a little more than 15 gallons in here, regardless. Um, you saw the empty cans, you guys saw us install all of them into the truck and both the front tank and the rear tank are full. Rear tank we're not going to be using, but uh, as I said, we're going to hook the fuel gauge up to the Schrader valve and we're going to take, we'll take a fuel pressure reading and compare it to using it with ATF or using it with diesel fuel. Now, if you guys saw in the other video about this truck, uh, this is using a, this is using an 11 through 16 frame mounted fuel pump from a 6.7 liter. He has retrofitted onto his power stroke. So that is what we're utilizing fuel pump for this uh, particular vehicle. So uh, right now, I guess we're gonna prime it up I switched it to the front tank. He's going to turn the key on. Going to wait for our fuel pressure to start build on the gate. There we go. This is just key on engine off. I don't know if you guys can see color fluid coming out of here but you can see it's the reddish brown same color as as we installed into the truck okay so we're gonna switch back to the rear tank
Okay, now we're on the rear tank. And let's see where we're at. Oh wow, it's almost 8, 10 PSI different. That seems a little more steady. Okay, why don't you switch it back to the front tank? Okay, we'll just continuously watch, see what happens. Okay, front tank. All right, so it's almost the same. Almost the same. But I guess everybody's going to want to know, let's hear this thing start up. This is a five-speed, so he is going to have to depress the clutch and fire in the hole. Front tank. Front tank running. 80 PSI. Let's check the tailpipe. See what kind of smoke we got coming out. Where are we? smoke coming out right now folks so far so good I've never had a power stroke running ATF oh I do I can smell it if I had the smell -o meter you guys could definitely tell this is running ATF oh wow totally can smell it now no smoke no smoke healthy 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 all right, we're going to go and take this for a ride, and we're going to see what the performance is and what you guys think of this 97 power show. All right, let's do it. All right, we just started it up. We're going to go for the ride after switching over to trans fluid, and I got the GoPro hooked up right above where the exhaust would come out. You guys can see it sitting right there in the corner. But we're going to see what the performance is like and have some gauges pulled up we'll be able to see all of our all of our stats but uh yeah here we go yeah we're just shy of a full tank actually seems pretty good. First time ever running with a truck on trans fluid. We're not mosquito fogging. I'll make sure to put the uh, footage from the GoPro in the back so you guys can see. Performance definitely is uh, is adequate. I would never tell a difference if you were running trans fluid or uh, or diesel. I've never honestly noticed a difference. I'm definitely digging the five speed. It reminds me of the truck that I got rid of uh, to get the Super Duty. I went with a five speed over the automatic because they're a little bit stronger. In my opinion. thing is this uh, something you guys would want to try if you guys have an OBS or an older uh, power stroke that uh, you'd be interested in running transmission fluid through some people run biodiesel um, I don't know a lot of people that run biodiesel but uh, I have had a couple of shop a couple of trucks actually come through the shop that uh, were running biodiesel but uh, those are the ones that seem to had uh, water and fuel lights and one actually had some organic growth in there and was uh, was not pretty No smoke 
field. Good boost. It's so funny how low the boost is compared to what our 6.7, and even our 6 liters for that matter, uh, what, what, what they get. AC just cranking. Just absolutely cranking. Florida truck problems. Yeah, Florida truck problems. Gotta have that AC working. He, like a six liter. Yeah, I was just going to say, it rides like a 6 liter, and even uh, he had mentioned that the steering is so much better um, um, having swapped the axles out and getting more uh, turning radius now. It also has a 6 liter steering box. Forgot about that. Yep. If you guys watched the uh, first video uh, talking about his truck, one of the things that we did forget to mention was that uh, he is actually rolling with a 6 liter gearbox that is bolted obviously right there at the frame um, and got away with the older one that obviously came with the truck. So that was definitely an upgrade for number one for the steering. So. I know a bunch of guys are going to want to know, have you ever experienced any death wobble after doing any modifications uh, like this to your truck? Zero death wobble. Zero death wobble. Absolutely zero. So we're aligning it to uh, the uh, specifications of 6.0. I'm actually going to get on the interstate here. Check out this GoPro. problem here. What's up, buddy? You all right? You want to be in a YouTube video? Well, we were just riding here on the the Power Stroke doing the ATF pull, and uh, we, we just saw this lovely specimen, but it's on the side of the road, and I hope it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, just a rear end. Oh, okay, okay. Oh no. Don't usually see these around. It's a 1985 150 347. Um, aluminum heads, AFRs. I got 185 on it. Yep. Right on. A, a TKO 500 trans, which I was actually testing out today. This is the first day I had everything done. Doing some uh, test hits on it. Then took off from the light, spinning real good. Went to grip it up a second. Boom. Yeah, man, it was on It was gripping from all the way back there. So oh, really? That's too bad, man. Did you get to have fun, though, for one? Oh, yeah. Just once, I guess, and then it busted. Yeah, it's all right. As long as it's not the transfer engine, I can take it out. I go buy it. Right on. So when I get back home, I'll go in by the It's part of the game. Right, that's how it is, man. Test and tune. Test and tune. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. 
Well guys, this is gonna conclude the video for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about running automatic transmission fluid through these old power strokes. Let me know if anybody of you guys have ever done it. Uh, I'll be curious if anybody's gonna try it with their 6.7, I suggest not. But let me know in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See you.